This clip is about sequences. Sequences are very special functions. Uh, these are functions on the natural numbers. So a sequence is no more than a function f defined on n to r. And the image, the kth element, yeah, f of k, so the image of k, where k is a natural number, the kth number, natural number, is called the kth element, and usually it's denoted something like a subscript a. So here we have the all, we can line up all function values, f1, f2, f3, etc. And we may denote that Well, there are many examples. We cannot be exhaustive here, but let's see the more, the more popular sequences are of course those that, are, that, that the one that is formed by all even numbers. Well, the even numbers are the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. Yeah, so here we have the first element in the sequence, and the second, and the third, etc. So, can we find a formula for this sequence? Well, actually there is. So, the kth element in the sequence is the f of k and it equals 2 times k. The sequence of odd numbers is the sequence of that we may write down as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. Well, some prescript. The script for this sequence is, of course, ak equals the f of k, which equals 2 times k minus 1. It's basically the sequence of even numbers, and at each even number you subtract 1, and you get the sequence of all odd numbers. Both the examples of uh, odd uh, numbers and even numbers are Examples of arithmetic sequences. Well, what is an arithmetic sequence where, well, these are sequences ak such that the difference between two consecutive terms is a constant. So ak plus 1 minus ak equals some number v, which is called the difference. And this difference is constant if we vary k. So we may look at the sequence, and the sequence can be reconstructed, starting with the first element. The second element just adds the difference. The third element is a1, the first element, plus two times the difference, etc. So as a formula, we get a, and we can express a, and in terms of the first element, it's just the first element plus n minus one times the difference, v. Well, the partial sum of a sequence is just the sum of the first n terms. And the sum of the first n terms is usually written down by Sn. So Sn means the sum of the first n terms. And the sum of the first n terms is, of course, a1 plus a2 plus a3, etc., etc., until we end up with the element a n. Now usually this is written a little bit differently. Here we get the summation sign. It's summing over the sequence a k and we let k vary from 1 to n. Well the sum of an arithmetic sequence or the partial sums, all partial sums of arithmetic sequences are easily calculated. Well, there's a very specific formula that the nth partial sum, Sn, equals a half times n times the first element and added the final element. This example will show how to derive the partial sums of the most simple arithmetic sequence there is, which is the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. 
so that we have as a first element a1 equals 1 and as a difference number v equals 1. So suppose we look at the we want to calculate the partial sums which equals as 100. So the sum of the first 100 terms of this sequence. So we add up 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc until 99 and the final element 100. Then we may write the same partial sum in reverse order. So this summation does not require a strict order, so we may reverse the order in which we count the stuff, like so. So now as a first element we write 100 plus 99 plus 98, etc. And then we add up both terms. So on the left hand side, if we add up, we see S100 plus S100 is 2 times S100. And if we now collect the terms in the fashion like so, 1 plus 100 equals 101, 2 plus 99, 101, etc., etc. Again, we see that we get 101. And how many times do we get 101? Well, exactly 100 times. So actually we find that 2 times as 100 is 100 times 101. So that this indeed equals 100 times the first element and the last element. The first element is 1, a100 equals 100. So that we find as the partial sum as 100 equals 5050. This also works for general arithmetic sequences. So write down the partial sum of a generic arithmetic sequence with the starting element a1, and the second term is a1 plus 1 times v, the difference, a1 plus 2 times v, etc., until the nth term, which is just one different from a n. So now we get a n minus v, or a1 plus n minus 2 times v. And now again we reverse the order in which we add stuff. So now we put as a first line up a, a n first and then a n minus v such that these elements are just lined up in ideal fashion below each other. Then we see we draw the yellow line again for adding up and if we look at the left hand side of the equations over here we get Sn and Sn if we add those we get 2Sn but it's the same as adding this sequence with this sequence of numbers and adding those is the same as doing this vertically so A1 plus An so A1 plus An and if we add those we see that again and again and again we find a1 plus a n back. So that actually we get n times the same term which is given by a1 plus a n. So as a formula for the partial sum we find s n equals a half times n times a1 plus a n.